thanks. <laughs> thanks for this lovely award and uh, accompanying bag, John. That's really kind of you to be uh, sincere and sweet, particularly in this context. Fucking hell. Because this is not designed for uh, sincerity, this environment, you realise. <laughs> we will struggle if we start bringing sincerity into the situation. Thank you. Thank you for me Oracle Award, which to me sounds like something that has recently been made up. Like, don't sound like a legit award. Fuck, just Oracle Award, will you come? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Oracle Award. Thank you for Oracle Award. When I was a kid, it was a type of teletext, they were Oracle and CFAX. And they were reliable sources of information, so I'm very grateful to be considered in the same vein as that pixelated news source. Also, also glad to grace the stage where uh, Boris Johnson has just made light of uh, the use of chemical weapons in Syria, <laughs> meaning that GQ can now stand for Genocide Quips. <laughs> uh, I mention that only to make this next comment a bit lighter, because if any of you uh, that know a little bit about history and fashion will know that Hugo Boss made the uniforms for the Nazis. Like, and the Nazis did have floors. But, you know, they did look fucking fantastic, let's face it, while they were killing people on the basis of their religion and sexuality. Genocide quips are okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's already been sanctioned. It's all cool. The, the, the fellow that does our trains says it's cool. They literally all do go to school together then. Ed Miliband was, as, as, so it don't make no fucking difference. Wicked. <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> Just might as well vote for one class of really, really rich people. Oh, Rob. <laughs> Rob, have you got, you're getting paid enough money to take it seriously. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm so sorry, bruv. <laughs> Come on, Rob. For wows for the Celts. Now, I am actually grateful to get any award, particularly because it meant, uh, like, it's an award, isn't it? I remember when I used to get, just get awards for shagging people and that, uh, from, from the sun. And I was always extremely grateful for them, or as, as I am for this. Whether it be for the lower hip activity or the more cerebral activity of writing, I'm very grateful to get this thing. I really do, um, I hope you have a lovely evening, because I know people who are coming up for awards. Noel's got to get one in a minute, and he's, uh, he said that if I say anything detrimental about him, that he will take the opportunity to proper lay into me. So, um, I mean, but we sort of know, essentially, what Noel will do is a pastiche of an earlier joke, but, uh, but delivered, perhaps very cutely, in a way that appeals to the working class, which won't be that fucking relevant in this room. <laughs> so, um, here, yeah, no, seriously, I'm double grateful. I'm, a, I'm literally a comedian and it is my job to make jokes about things, you know, it's like, Hugo Boss, like, you know, it's fair enough. Like, he might not have known. <laughs> We're selling a lot of these fucking, they're flying off the shelves. We had a lot of clients in the 30s and 40s, I can't remember all of them. Did you make a lot of elasticated crotches, Hugo? Did it ring any bells? <laughs> Hey, listen, now I'm seriously grateful to be part of the publishing industry, the fashion industry. Fight the power. <laughs> I'm happy. Don't take life too seriously. Soon we'll all be in the grave. Oh, fuck, shit. And also, there are some people here that are like serious, lovely people. Uh, Sir Bobby Charlton, in spite of the preceding somewhat anarchic rampage, what an honour to even be in the same room as you, sir. Noel, good luck being more offensive than that, son. Ta da. <laughs> Put your number on this paper, cause I would love to date you, holla at